Hello my dears, you all are welcome to my YouTube channel Maths Master Saman. Today too you are in for watching a new video that is on reflections. There's another type of transformations. Here before I have released four videos, they were all on translations. Uh, watch those videos also and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon also to have the notifications of the new videos. Then we go to uh, today's video straight away that is reflections. Now first of all we have to see what a reflection is. You may remember uh, sometimes if you watch the first video I told you that there are several types of transformation according to the way in which the change of place, change of position, change of shape, change of uh, size or direction of the, uh, object or image object or the uh, figure occurs the translate transformations can be categorized into six types mainly as it is recommended for your syllabus streams uh, translations tri reflections rotations enlargements reductions stretch essentials out of these six we have already discussed translations we have totally finished the um, type of transformations called reflections sorry type of transformation is called translations we have finished translations now today we start reflections now first of all we have to see what a reflection is what is a reflection actually what's a reflection reflection is all actually a mirror image of an object or a figure mirror image if you hold a mirror along a straight line by the side of an object or a figure you can see its image in the mirror. Then if you draw the image as if in the position it is seen in the mirror on a coordinate plane or a paper, that image is the reflection of that object. For example, let's say you get this. This is the object, this is let's say object. Then you kill this. This is the reflecting side of the mirror in which you can see the images. Then say you keep this. Um, this say this is the mirror. You keep this mirror on a straight line along a straight line like this. This is a straight line like this, and you can see this image of this inside the mirror. Then what you do in reflections, you draw that image as if in the position it is seen in the mirror then you get the reflecting reflection image so that is how you get the reflection this line along with this mirror is placed called the mirror line or a line of reflection or axis of reflection whatever the name it is called it is the same thing uh, then that is how a reflection works. then actually these mirrors we use mirrors we use in this mathematical lesson of reflections are plane mirrors keep in your mind very well that this is um, uh, uh, reflection is uh, 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 reflection is a part of mathematics where we deal with plane mirrors so there are three types of mirrors as you know this convex mirrors concave mirrors and plane mirrors out of those three types, convex mirrors and concave mirrors are accepted. They are excluded. We use only plane mirrors in this uh, lesson of translations. In this lesson, sorry, in this lesson of reflections. Then, if you uh, look at these uh, images, how the images are produced by these plane mirrors. The production of images in a plane mirror is governed by several rules. Then the same rule applies to these reflections also. The same rule that govern the production of images in plane mirrors are equally used, are equally applicable to the reflections in this lesson. You understand that, right? Then what are these rules? The first thing is, first rule is, object and image are equal in shape and size. Object and image 
are equal in shape and size that means if two things are equal in shape and size they are congruent we have discussed that earlier in one of the uh, previous videos if two things are equal in shape and size they are congruent they are congruent they have a object and image in reflections are congruent figures keep in your mind then next one next uh, rule is uh, uh, object and image are equidistant from the mirror line object and image are equidistant from the mirror line object and image are equidistant from the equidistant means at equal distance from the mirror for exa example uh, uh, if you take this uh, this object you get this distance from the this if you take the mirror line this y axis if the mirror is placed on this y axis you get the image on this side then this distance from this uh, uh, mirror line to the object is equal to the distance from the mirror line to the image then this image will uh, lie at this distance from the mirror line somewhere here so that is actually what it means then image and object are at equal distance from the mirror line that is another important rule governing the reflections right next one is this image is an inverted form of the object image is an inverted form of the object when a particular object or a figure is reflected that figure is inverted it inverts now for example it's something like this say uh, uh, you get uh, this uh, this ruler here take this ruler let's say we keep the uh, mirror here and this is a mirror line that if you reflect at this this will become like this and come here like this now for example if you take say you take letter b here say you are going to reflect this letter b letter b you're going to reflect letter b then if it is reflected this distance is for this distance of four then you will get a figure like this on this this is called this is called inversion this is the object this is inversion it has inverted this is the object this is image this is called you know now what has happened is what has happened is uh, this uh, relative directions of the these points have change that's what has happened now for example uh, you know, relative to this this one is uh, now if you take this point relative to this this one is this this directed but relative to this this is the corresponding point of this one this point is this direct then relative directions have changed so this is called inversion what happens in inversion is that the relative directions of the corresponding image points uh, differ from the uh, object points this is called the inverse now for example in this hand this is the object what happened in reflection is if you reflected on this line you will get something like this that is called the inversion right okay then uh, object inverts in reflection that is the other important uh, rule other one is the straight lines joining corresponding image and object points are perpendicular to the mirror line Cor straight lines joining uh, corresponding object and image points are perpendicular to the mirror line right now again these rules these rules are very important these rules are used in uh, obtaining reflection images uh, therefore you better keep these rules in mind when you reflect uh, figures right now once again these rules object and image are equal in shape and size that is they are congruent next one is next rule is object and image are equidistant from the mirror line then other one is 
image is an inverted form of the object otherwise the object inverts uh, in reflection next one is straight lines joining corresponding object and image points are perpendicular to the mirror line right now these reflections occur on a mirror line in a mirror line so therefore its mirror line is an important factor uh, in describing a reflection right now uh, we will uh, now you can get different different um, uh, lines of reflection otherwise the mirror lines can be the y axis x axis some other different line even right now we'll go for an example and try to illustrate these uh, reflections now say you get this object A, B, C, right. Now, look at this triangle. This is going to be reflected in the mirror line Y axis. Mirror line Y axis. Now, what are the points? Now, this in reflecting this ABC triangle these rules must be used then object and image are equal in shape and size therefore you will get a uh, image here then that must be equal in shape and size to this other one is object and image are equidistant from the middle all right then this uh, uh, object and image are equidistant from the mirror like therefore this point c lies at this distance from the mirror line on the opposite side because if you keep the mirror like this eh, with this reflecting side towards the object you will see this in the mirror you will see this in the mirror it seems like it is on the other side of this uh, line of reflection otherwise by axis then you will get that eh, this point will be on the other side at this distance from the mirror line 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here that is c dash then a also at this distance from the mirror line on the other side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here also 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that is a A dash then B at this distance from the mirror line B dash will be at this distance from the mirror line to the B to the point B on the other side of the mirror line. 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 like this now we have got the points B dash now we can draw this is the reflection image of the triangle ABC right now now this uh, A dash B dash C dash triangle is a inverted form of this triangle ABC what has happened like this now see now in this object the closest point to the mirror line is b here also the closest point to the mirror line is b dash this is the corresponding point of b the furthest point from the mirror line is a and c here also a and a dash and c dash corresponding points a, a dash c c dash b b dash right okay now we will take another example this is case where we reflected the triangle ABC in the mirror line otherwise then in the line of reflection Y axis right now we will go to uh, another example like this hmm?
Right, let's say this P Q R triangle. Let's say this is going to be reflected in the uh, line of reflection x axis. This one that means you keep the mirror like this along the x axis and see object on this side. Then this will be inverted here. Then you know again the same principle applies the image of P will be at this distance from the mirror line on the other side that means one two three one two three p dash then this r is also at this distance from the mirror line on the other side one two three this r dash then you take this one this point <coughs> q also <coughs> at this distance from the mirror line on the other side 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes, 6 units away 1 2 3 4 5 6 here yeah. this point this is q dash now you can draw triangle P dash Q dash R dash is a reflection of this triangle PQR in the mirror line X axis right now see uh, now I will join these corresponding object and image points right now see i drew the straight lines connecting the corresponding image and object points now you can see see these lines this line connecting r and r dash corresponding object and image point is perpendicular to mirror line y x axis see then this line connecting q and um, q dash corresponding object and image point is perpendicular to the mirror line see this line connecting p and p dash corresponding object and image point is perpendicular to the mirror line right so these are the uh, this is how you effect uh, reflections uh, in the mirror lines of axis x axis and y axis then we will uh, uh, in some instances we have to de fully describe reflections fully describe reflections then the question they may ask you to fully describe a particular reflection then first of all you have to identify by looking at this inversion and this uh, corresponding um, uh, this perpendicularity of these lines connecting corresponding object and image points and this uh, 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 corresponding object and image points uh, equidistant from the uh, line of reflection and from all those uh, properties you have to identify the ref uh, reflection and fully describe to de describe a reflection line of reflection is a must always a mirror line must be used because the mirror line describes the reflection then a full description we will see how it comes or oh, as uh, you know we discuss in reflections always when we fully describe we start with the image then if you describe this reflection a b c onto triangle a dash b dash c dash you start with the image you say triangle a dash b dash c dash is a reflection of triangle a b c in the line of reflection y axis line of reflection y axis what is the equation of the y axis x equals zero otherwise you can call this x equals zero you can say triangle b a dash b dash c dash 
is a reflection of triangle ABC in the uh, line of reflection x equals 0 otherwise line of reflection y axis so that is how people describes this you come to this one to describe fully we have reflected this triangle pqr onto triangle p dash q dash r dash as usual we start with the image then we say uh, triangle p here the, the reflection line reflection line is x axis we reflected this on x axis into the, onto this so we start with the image triangle p dash q dash r dash is a reflection of the triangle p q r in the line of reflection x axis what is the equation x axis y equals zero you can say triangle p dash q dash r dash is a reflection of triangle p q r in the line of reflection y equals zero otherwise x axis once again this one uh, how to describe fully this one uh, you start with the image triangle a dash b dash c dash is a reflection of triangle abc in the line of reflection y axis this one triangle p dash q dash r dash is a reflection of triangle pqr in the line of reflection x axis that is how we fully describe the reflections today video ends with that and have a nice time thank you so much and we will meet in another video next time with further important points of reflections <coughs> being discussing that thank you so much <laughs>